Shavaz, man, a.k.a. Mr. Be Prepared, Not Scared. So, as you can see, I'm back in Just Like Home Assisted Living, the rehab facility, right? The rehab center, I'm sorry. Uh, so, I had some people hit me, like, hey, man, it's, two, it's Wednesday, man, and we ain't get the video yet. My bad, man, this week been super hectic, super crazy, man, but super productive as well. So, um, we're just going to jump right in it. I'm just going to talk to y'all about a few little things, man, and then next week, um, I'll probably get back on the board and show y'all um, some of the things that we talked about tonight. So, uh, one of the things I want to talk about, man, is is ask the right questions and get the right answers. You know, so many times, um, us as professionals and us as consumers, we don't ask the right questions, so the answers we get is not what we expect it to be. So, uh, I'll give you an example of that. For, for instance, right, some people may... Uh, maybe because of, of whatever their, their prior thoughts is to uh, life insurance or annuities or retirement as a whole, right? They just go off based off of certain assumptions they have or certain things that they already thought about. So you got to ask the right question to get the right answer. So um, I, went, I went on a case, a couple, a couple appointments this week, and some of the stuff that we talked about, it was a little different because some of the people were like, oh... I didn't even know the difference between um, a term and a whole life or a return uh, return to premium policy, right? So uh, my thing is, as a professional, I feel like you have to ask the client the right questions and uh, you'll get the right answer. So sometimes the clients really, um, I'm not going to say they don't know what they want, but sometimes the client is uh, confused about what they want. Put it like that. They're confused about it or they they can't put it out there exactly what they want. And as a professional, that's where you got to ask the right questions. So, for instance, I'll give you a case of, um, like, someone that wants life insurance, right? So, when I sit down with my appointments, my question is, okay, so what is the reason you want the life insurance? Based on what that reason is, I know kind of where to put them at. The reason could be, um, oh, I want to leave something behind for my family or my kids. Uh, or uh, the reason could be, I just want to make sure I'm covered so that if something happens to me, my family is not putting a burden or whatever the case may be. Or some people might say, look, man, I hear you talk about this retirement thing. I want to get a life insurance or I want to get a product that when I retire, it's going to pay me out for the rest of my life, and then, based on other things, man, you 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 kind of you can pair what needs to be done instead of just assuming. Because some people, some people are stuck in the old. Um, I'm not gonna say the old days, but some people are stuck in the old way of thinking. Whereas though, for um, life insurance, they just think that, man, look, I just want something that when I die, I'm good. But you can do so many things with. A life insurance policy or you can do so many things with um, with an annuity or any other type of product that um, I offer uh, but based on whatever your questions is or whatever it is that you want to do um, based on those things will be based on whatever product I pair you up with but um, at the end of the day of all of my all of my appointments I try to make it as easy for the client as I can so I ask a lot of questions to try to figure out what it is that what it is exactly that you want to do um, like don't just don't just assume that because of what you heard or whatever it is like don't just assume that like we here so I got a, a checklist or whatever questions that I like to ask people so that when I ask them I know exactly what it is so that whatever product they have they can tell whoever like if they if if it's um, a mother or if it's a father or a husband or a wife, they can relay it to the next person that they may have to, you know, relay it to instead of being like, oh, I don't know what it is, all it, it, it just worked, I just got it and it covers me for when I die. No, you don't want to do that, man. You want to be, you want to, you want to have a strong enough presentation or a strong enough um, understanding of the products that you have that you feel comfortable about the decision that you made. Um, and we all know, like, you do business with people you know, like, and trust. Depending on how, how good you know them, like them, or trust them, um, sometimes that, that, that'll get you in the door. 
but then after that it's based on how good your presentation is so that they know exactly what it is that they're getting like if it's someone that wants to take care of themselves or take care of their 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 um take care of make sure that they're taken care of when they pass then that would be more so uh, a final expense type policy because that final expense is going to be um, just for them for, you know, when they pass or whatever the case may be. Now, final expenses, final expense policies, they don't offer um, as much as like maybe, I mean, it's still a, a branch, like it's still on a tree, right? It's still a tree of the whole life product. But a final expense policy is, is not meant to really offer you a whole 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 lot of money most final expenses stop at like maybe fifty thousand you know some some of them start at ten thousand but stop at like fifty thousand so it's just enough to cover you know that person not really enough to leave nothing behind for your beneficiary and if it is it'll be like just a, a little something so to leave behind um if you want to do more of the long term the long term game um, you would do more like an IUL type, an index universal type, um, index universal life insurance type of policy um, because that grows over the years. And then with the index universal, that also gives you um, how the credit is, how the interest is credited. It's best the longer you keep it in because you got um, different factors that play in that, that adds more money to that. If you want to do something that's going to, you know, have you covered, uh, all the way, have you covered all the way and then got certain guarantees, um, but you still want to, you know, you might want to dip into it every now and again. You might just want to do a traditional type of whole life policy. Um, those policies are kind of set up uh, for that type of thing. Um, but um, the thing I want to talk about, uh, and I'm going to get more, I'm going to get more in depth with this for next week. The thing that I want to talk about, touch on is um, annuities, like the different types of annuities you got and different types of uh, retirement vehicles, how the, the the taxes can impact it and how the, the length of time you keep it in impacts it as well. Uh, we're not going to get too much. We not, I'm not going to get too much into that tonight um, because I'm going to talk more about that next week. But the main thing I want to I want to just put out there is you ask the right questions. So um, if you got a, a you got a, a professional or um, you got a, a insurance person, agent, broker, or whatever, man, ask them the right questions so you will get the right thing. Um, I didn't replace a couple policies because what they thought they had, they really didn't. So they might have had like uh, a term policy and. You know, as we as we learned in some of the earlier videos that I did, a term is temporary. They might have had a term policy that they didn't know was term, but based on okay, so I got this five hundred thousand dollars for uh, eighteen dollars, nineteen dollars, but it's a temporary policy, and you know that I don't really like term policies, truthfully, to be you know myself, and that's just my personal opinion, but. Um, I break down a lot of stuff so that when I do my presentation, that anybody that gets a policy from me, they can kind of, they can kind of do my presentation because I give them so much information. I ask them so many questions and so much stuff that when I when I link them with whatever product is best suited for them, that's tailor made for them, then they pretty much know exactly what they get and, and exactly what it is. Um, you don't want to leave people. And like not a shamble, but you don't want to leave people like if someone else asks them stuff like, oh yeah, I think I got this, or I think I got that. You don't want to do stuff like that. So that's why I talk a lot in my presentations to make sure you get it, and I ask questions as well to make sure you get it. Um, the biggest thing that I like, I like doing nowadays is um, I like doing a lot of the whole lives with the with the the living benefits. Because the living benefits is the thing that um, I like talking about life when I do my when I do my presentations. I like talking about life, not so much of the death. We all know the death benefit and all that stuff, man. That, that's that's what you know the the old old timey stuff did. Not calling you old, so but that's what you know the old timey stuff is. But when you talk about the living benefits, man, you're talking about having a better life and having 
different stuff to leverage and, and and go into and do different things. But you talk living benefits. You talk about uh, one of the biggest things. One of the biggest the biggest things of why people lose their houses or why people lose their cars or stuff like that is um, stroke. People have strokes, and when you have strokes or and or, or other disabilities, um, you can go into these living benefits and 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 work that out work out whatever whatever business you got because you still got a percentage of that money that you can dip into to make sure you're good your your life is sustained um with that so make sure your life is insured you know what i mean instead of waiting to you die to get all of those benefits and then those benefits go to you know your beneficiary or whatever but when you talk living benefits you talk more so your benefit like what's your benefit going to be uh, while you're alive and stuff like that. You also talking, um, you know, if, if you got kids or grandkids that may want to go to college or may want to purchase their first house. It's certain things and certain laws set in place that you could go into, you know, these certain types of uh, life insurance policies or these certain type of products, man, and get a certain amount out to do these type of things that you want to do for real. So it's actually, you know, it's actually life insurance, not like death insurance, so I never sell death when I go into none of my appointments. I always sell the life, man. So um, hopefully, man, uh, I I told you, um, I told you a few things about just just you know just knowing what you have, man, and knowing exactly it is that you want. Hopefully, uh, this information was beneficial to you. Um, I'll see you guys again next Wednesday. Um, I'm sorry I posted it late. I'm so sorry, but this week has been crazy, man. Like I said, it was productive, and it was it was busy. So I'm sorry I didn't post it on Wednesday, but next week I definitely promise you that I'll post it on Wednesday. It's going to be some good information about um, annuities and how you can, you know, make them work for your life as well. Um, if you have any questions, you want to set up any type of appointments or anything like that, go to the website, www.bepreparednotscared.net. Um, go on there, like the video, share the video if you find this information that you think that somebody else would like or would benefit from. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to my channel. It's going to be more stuff um, that we're going to get into, man. Different other concepts and stuff as well so that you'll know exactly, you know, like the certain type of things you can do and how you can leverage the different types of money um, without leveraging. It's like it's your money, but you leverage in other people's money as well. So, um, hopefully you found this video beneficial. Um, y'all be blessed, man. Stay blessed. Until I see y'all again next Tuesday, man. Be prepared, not scared. Be prepared for life, man. And whatever happens in life, not scared of life. Or be prepared for death if that happens too. I don't really talk about but be prepared for death too. Um, if that happened, not scared of it. But um, I'll see you guys again next Wednesday. Um, y'all be blessed. Have a good one.